Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Let's Try Deep Sky Derelicts. All right, so let's go check out this other enemy. We found a cobra. This is my first biological enemy that I've, I've run into. What are you? Cobra. It's another biomechanical. Okay, that's cool. Uh, what can we do? Piercing strike. Yeah, let's puncture you. Puncture. Get it. Kill it. Punctured through for 10 damage. Oh, interesting. So the drawback to puncture is that if you only have a couple puncture cards, you still have to you still have to do all of the total amount of damage. Because even if they're down to like one health, if there's any shields, you still have to hit those first. Interesting. All right. And this was the one that does actually work. 20% chance to stun for two turns. What do we get? Super lucky, double stun. All right, this is actually an opportunity, I think, to to check to see if each action is costing energy or each turn, each character's turn. Let's craft supply, we have 88 energy. I would like to draw the heavy strike. And we're still at 88. I guess we'll take it a step further. Still at 88. Flurry of strikes is 3 by 3 Let's let's do 9 damage then. 88 should go down to 87, yes? There it goes. Okay, cool. I think I get it. Each character's action takes one, one energy. This sounds great. Okay, so plus 2 focus for each attack on target. Each consequent attack against the same target increases the user's damage against that target. The user. Okay, I think I get that, but I don't really think we need to worry about marking a target that's almost dead and is stunned for two turns, or one extra turn. We still have one action plus another turn of stun, so... Kill it! Make it dead! As efficiently and effectively as we can, just shoot it in the face. Three by two... was a lot quicker than the last time. Bolstering Matrix. Level 1 shield core, 23 max shields, 8% max shields. Cool. Level 1 medical tool mod. Nice. I like mods because you can just add them to your existing equipment. Level 2 tech tool mod. Sweet. We'll take them all. Let's go check them out. So. The stimulant pack is a medical tool mod. Who, if anyone, has a medical tool? Tech tool. Weaponry tool. Scavenging tool. Damn, can't use it. Okay. Tech tool. That was the... The technician, obviously. So, he's using a shield tuner. Only has two recharge shield cards. Which might actually be a good thing if you want to... Reduce the number of, like, passive cards you draw instead of active. Offensive ones. 23, and, uh, 23 max shields with 8% bonus. Versus just six, but a bonus of three tech. It's forty-one percent shield damage on tech cards. Interesting. I think I just want to have more max shields. Wait, why can't I use it? Full string matrix, level one shield core. Oh, is it a? No. Oh, it's shield quartz, this one. Ah, my bad. Da -da -da. Recharge shield times two, recharge shield. Yeah, okay. You know what this thing needs? Uh, it just needs, like, a mod. Like, I remember one time ago I played in World of Warcraft, there was a mod you could get called Equip Compare, where you just hover over it. Most most games have that these days. It seems like it should provide you with that. Just see what it is that you have in your mouse compared to what uh, is currently equipped on that character. All right, and then the level two tech tool mod. That thing can go here, and there's really no reason not to use it. Eight tech is awesome. And we get energy field and shield manipulation. Reduce maximum shield by 20%. Nice. 
reduce energy consumption to zero and receive and received damage by 15% for all allies. Sweet! That's awesome. It's a good buff. Alright, um... I think we're gonna spend less energy overall if I use a scan. Now, the whole sometimes being allowed to go diagonal and sometimes not just makes zero sense to me whatsoever. Alright, this costs more than just the energy involved in going there, because of each turn of, uh, of action. But I want experience for the characters, because I want to level them up. Nasty wormlings drop from the ceiling. Wormlings, how many of them, I wonder? Three. And again, it immediately dives into combat, and I don't get any chance. Seven puncture. Okay, so that's dangerous. They have high initiative. One of them punctured, two of them did not. Alright, so they're going to go ahead of me pretty much every single turn right now. They have only 12 health. So I guess we just shoot them in the face, right? That's basically the game plan. I mean, there's an actual chance here we could just kill it outright. Okay. Nice work! <laughs> it's like a 25% chance of that happening, and it, it actually worked. Alright, so you can do... 6 to 9 damage, and I'm assuming Lux drew a combat card? Yes. I highly doubt you're going to be able to do much damage. Please don't pierce. Good. I wonder if combat experience that you earn is based on your... Like, the damage inflicted, or if it's based on, like... These guys have a level to them? Ah, they do. So it's probably based on the level of the character. And these are the first uh, purely biological I think I've, I've run into. Okay, well, I don't have a combat, so I guess we're going to do energy field. 100% energy efficiency and plus 15 damage resistance. Nice. Yeah, there's no information about like how the experience is calculated, but nice. Wormling intestines times two and 30 energy. And that's why we fight the bad guys. And the goal is to get down to that thing, so... Yet yeah, another inexplicable diagonal movement was just allowed. I would love to be able to figure this out. So I think maybe what it is, is, is if... If you can go... Alright. See how... Okay, from this tile, I've got one here or here. If there's an... If either of them are available, you appear to be able to go diagonally. But if one of them is not, like in this case, from here, there's only one, I think you have to you have to go around. That might be what is happening. Which just seems completely arbitrary to me, but okay. I guess maybe that's to simulate the cost of going around a corner or something? Why did it take me in here? I didn't... There was nothing here. Weird. We need to use our energy cells, find other means to recharge, or return back to the station to fill our reserves before it's too late. Oh, I've learned. I have learned, game. Nice, 10 energy and a petrified alien head. I am glad to have found it. Something to fight and get experience from. Yay. Wormlings! Let's have initiative last time, if I remember correctly. Eight this time around. 
Eight and seven. So you're the special wormling. <laughs> What's your deal, buddy? Are you higher level? Yeah, he's level three versus level two. Got it. Weapon one, damage eight. Weapon one, damage seven. Here's to just be a thing that they get. And he also has an extra health, apparently, from being level three. 75% chance, uh, chance to puncture. We don't really care about that because there are no shields. Let's lower your initiative, buddy. And based on the fact that you have very low initiative, we can ignore you for the rest of this turn instead of focus firing and hopefully take this guy out. Inflict disruption of a selected ranged type. Well, I think they do melee attacks only, so let's try that. Nine damage is definitely better than the other options right now. Hey, he had to skip his turn. I was right. All of his attacks were melee based. Sweet. You have way too many heals. I guess do this for some reason. Handled. More worms. These guys are pretty straightforward. There isn't, there still isn't like a very clear description at all of what boost does, and I don't have it quite figured out perfectly. So not having a medic is actually working out just fine. Like, just having more people focused on combat, I think, is actually is good. It saves energy that way. There are two weaponry cards, but that'll consume your action. It's like, what, three level two worms? So close to being able to kill it! So he's going to go very late in the next round turn order, where these two are going to go pretty early. Well, he can't actually act because he's going to be, hopefully, unable to act. So let's try to make you have mischance. Yep, he had to skip his turn, and then you go later. So we need to kill him. And Lux, can you take out that guy completely? Seven damage? Maybe. Maybe. Nice. Exactly seven on the dot. Raven, anything you can do to disable, maybe? Oh yeah, here, just just kill it. Go ahead. Nine to twelve. Rush your fingers. Ah! Damn, it gets one more action. Wait, no, it's still disabled for another turn. Ah, I forgot about that. Sweet. Being able to disable biologicals is freaking crazily good. I like it. Okay. Seems like we found the actual good stuff here at the end. Energy scavenging kit. Cool, that thing we need. Let's go check that out. Inventory. The scrapper uses a level one scavenging tool and now we have a level two scavenging tool. Double temporary cover and a scrappy bomb. Instead of the supply crafting. Well, I wanna wanna see what the actual cards are. Deploys a cover that protects the user. Cover health 20. Cover blocks 75% of incoming ranged damage. But apparently does nothing for melee, which explains why uh, I was able to kill that pirate earlier who made some cover by using a melee attack. And the other one was a scrappy bomb. Five times three. 
two base damage per instance to target, and all adjacent enemies launches five instances. Two base damage, and yet it's showing five times three, which has got to be because we have almost 43% damage on scavenging cards, which is rounding up to three. Nice. Yeah, we're keeping that card. Might as well pick everything up, as far as I can tell, because it it can all be uh, turned into two energy if you just get rid of it. You find an intact mauerum egg in the corner of the room. The room doesn't look like a nest, so it must have been recently moved there by someone. Various equipment, blah, 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 blah. There's an enemy. I kind of want to fight it. Grab the egg and place it in one of the containers. Yeah. And then the boss shows up as you put the egg in the container. The big, huge worm that's right there shows up. Yes, yes, obviously. <laughs> 50 health, no shields. It is very slow to act. It is only level 1. 10 base weapon damage. Okay. Anything we can do to stun it would be great. It's biological. Where's that skill that stops it from doing stuff? Alright. Yes. Just lots of direct damage. Shoot it in the face. 12 damage is very good. We can hack the biological creature. Let's assume it's like all the other worms. You can't use... Oh, stuns target mechanical unit. You are not mechanical in any way, are you? Damn. Okay, so this is useless because you're going to use melee against me. Burst fire. Yes, please do make you have miss chance. What's it going to do? Munch. Missed. Ha. Loser. Okay, yep, single strike sounds good. I think it's dead. I don't think it's gonna get to act again. No, I don't have any actual active weapon attacks with this guy. That's a great skill though. I don't mind seeing that. Alright, three times two to three. Or do we wanna do heavy strike and have a chance to stun it? Yeah, sure, why not? It's about the same amount of overall damage, and it's going to get to act no matter what. Oh, it creates new enemies! Interesting. Enemies that have five initiative as well. Well. I guess we reload. They're very weak, though. Level zero. <laughs> That's not the strongest enemy, is it? Oh, nice. Beautiful crit. And another crit. And another crit. My goodness. And there's our quest item. Okay, it's done. We found it. Let's do it. Let's leave. Alright, we're gonna go to this loot. Search the loot. And we have found a level 2 power glove. 7 damage. Okay, cool. I think one of the characters uses his power gloves. Yes. We have a level 1 power glove that does 4 damage. I will gladly swap that in. And here's the risky thing. This, I think, was the character. It takes 33 energy to get back. And I think if you just, like, clicked here and just didn't have the energy, you just literally just die, which is <laughs> so cheesy. But, uh... Let's see if we can actually finish the very first mission. Woo! My guess is that it's a lot cheaper to recharge energy on the ship than it is to buy batteries at the store. Uh, what do I click? I need to, I need to talk to this guy. There we go. One Maorm egg has asked. Delightful. Cool. Contract, uh, contracts and texts will usually give us credits or new gear while the data from derelicts can help us progress our search for the mothership. 
Cool. Let's leave. I want to get out of here alive for the first time. Mm, now what? Click on it again? Yes. There we go. Turn to station. And we're there. We're back. Woo! The pawn shop can recharge our energy reserve at a reasonable price. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's way cheaper. Because these, these battery things... 125 for 30 versus 62. It's just one for one. We should definitely come back with almost no energy and try to be frugal with these things. Then again, you pretty much have to buy them because if you don't, then you are dead. So, all right, cool. I'm going to take some time to look at what's available and uh, see if uh, there's anything else interesting we can do in this area. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.